All right, I'm still forgetting what day it is, but I thought I'd put another day in. Just finished my uh, first draft of my paper, and uh, I got it submitted uh, to what we call Right Point, which goes through and uh, checks it for you know spelling errors, continuity, things of that nature. Or not continuity, but you get the picture. Spelling errors and common spellings and structure issues. Stuff like that. So I thought I'd put another day into my journey. Uh, I was going to talk about something, but it's gone. <laughs> I really need to start writing down a list of things. Like I said, I'm done with my paper stuff, which is just a huge load off my mind right now, so... I just wanted to work a little bit farther towards my goal. And figured you guys wouldn't come along for the ride. Come on. Why well, can't I climb you? Strange. So I'll do it this way. Oh, I can do water drop too. Good. Now, yeah, moment of truth. We nope, not gonna happen. Ow. <laughs> and that's why I'm wearing diamond armor. <laughs> uh, so, um, if you follow me on Twitter as more and more people are, um, you'll notice I posted a link to um, a dad's request for essentially money um, so that he could take his daughter to Universal Studios and the Hogwarts experience because she's dying of cancer. Now, I normally would not forward stuff like that, especially without checking Snopes, but um, if she has the kind of cancer he, sh he says she does, uh, there's not really enough time for that, and I, I could just only imagine if that was my daughter. Uh, you know, what would what would I do to um, uh, try to think, try to talk to um, you know facilitate or or you know ask for a request like that because. That's just absolutely heartbreaking because I can only imagine what you know the days of family are going through. But to know that your your daughter only has um, you know potentially months left at this point in time, and I'm lucky to have that. It's just yeah, really sad to hear, and I really feel for the guy. So I'll uh, link to his video in here and link to his. Uh, donation account in here as well so if you guys um, want to forgo donating to me uh, and want to donate to their cause I totally understand because um, like I said I I can only imagine what I'd do for my daughter if she was in the same, same situation or if I had you know, a friend who was in that same situation it's just it's sad that stuff like that happens to kids of, of people that you know and care about. And there's just, uh, as far as we are in medical science, there's still nothing that we can do for them. And 
That just sucks. I know. That's, that's the bottom line. It just sucks. Um, you know, and then he's not asking for a ton of money. I don't know what his actual goal is, but, uh, you know, enough money to get to Universal Studios. It's not, not a ton of money. So, if you can donate, he said any amount will help. Like I said, I'll, I'll link to it in this video. So you guys know what's going on. Makes me really curious. Or just apples popping up. Oh, it's like I'm steak dinner tonight. Good night. And I will take the steak cutlets over. Yeah, there we go. Over an apple any day. Do, 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 do. So, <laughs> part of the reason I listen to Gude's channel is uh, he's got some very interesting life stories. Unfortunately, <laughs> my life has not been as interesting as Gude's. Um... If you talk about my brother's life, either um, my younger brother, my younger half brother, um, probably get some better stories out of them. Uh, I was just trying to think of, because I don't even know if I've told you guys. Uh, I uh, well, we'll start from high school. From high school, I graduated and went to a uh, community college and. Uh, didn't like it. Um, got C's my first year there. Ended up uh, fl or first semester there. Ended up flunking out my second semester. It was just not for me. Um, so then I worked for summer as a general handyman's assistant. And uh, uh, working at a, a summer camp. And uh, then I went from that to being the head lifeguard because they found out that not only could I swim, but I swim very well. <laughs> um, and so then I finished that for the summer. Holy moly. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, I went to a school to become a certified aircraft mechanic. And as you can tell, I don't do that. Because <laughs> uh, the problem was is that I graduated not too long after September 11th. I kind of ruined, well, pretty much a lot of people's plans. But any plans I had of, of fulfilling that, um, that career path. Um, which sucks. I, I love airplanes. And um, I wanted to work for a small fixed base operation. And just working on some small airplanes. Oh, that's where the meat came from. I had a... Um... Yeah, well, I'll have to toss that for now. There's some where my spare wood planks have been going. Um... So after that, I went back to the camp... And worked for a uh, uh, the other summer while I was um, still in classes, and then um, the summer after that too. And then I went and became a cable guy. So insert cable guy joke here. Uh, and did that for seven years. Started to go back to school uh, when I was about year four into there. 
I worked in, uh, started off in service, then moved to, uh, or installation, then moved to uh, uh, the internet division, and then the internet division got dissolved back into service and uh, installation, so I got pushed back to installation, then moved up to service. I went inside for a while, and uh, that was right about the same time we were introducing phone, and so I went through and help them manage all those services and then uh oh uh amberly 13 hello well it doesn't look like you're in this <laughs> chat anymore i gotta look over there more often um but so then i started doing that uh moved inside and then didn't like inside because uh the dynamics of it changed um which is a story for another time uh, but then I went outside, and I've been working outside for about another year and a half. Again, so I was hitting right at about seven years of the company. And I ended up having a stroke on the job. And uh, that happened in oh oh seven, I want to say. Summer, summer 07, 08. Uh, but I, I have no recollection of like that year. It was just completely gone. Um, and even though I had it at work, they thought I just had heat exhaustion, so they just uh, pumped me full of fluids. Yep. Uh, pumped me full of fluids and sent me on my way. Uh, and so I didn't have a lot of problems right after that. But uh, about three months after that incident, I started suffering from Jemosfu. Look it up. Um, and uh, um, uh, with Jemosfu, uh, it's the opposite of deja vu tests that you used to be able to do uh, without a second thought you struggle with, as if you've never done it before. So as a cable guy, we normally slip. Um, you start to struggle with as a cable guy you put in uh, fitting ins and that's a task I used to be able to do in the dark upside down you know hanging from a pole with my off hand and uh, I started just staring at fitting ins and not being able to know what in the world I was doing and it was just really frustrating and then three months after the initial so I started seeing a neurologist saying hey something's not quite right and so then a little bit after that, I started having seizures. And uh, so then they started doing all sorts of scans and said, oh, well, you know, you've had a stroke. But um, so much time had passed, I couldn't t link it to that. So I ended up getting laid off, um, being unable to perform my uh, job duties. Um, so I took a, a job as overnight um, help desk for a... Uh, web hosting company and uh, while I was still in school the IT manager of the school I was going to um, who, um, was getting a, a better job and so I got offered that job and so I've, I've been there for at least three years in August um, so time's coming up uh, so I've now I have an associate's degree in uh, computer network systems, a um, uh, bachelor's degree in information system security, and I'm working on my master's degree in information systems. And so I've always had a, a more IT knowledge than the average person around me. Um, but now I <laughs> now I blow them out of the water. <laughs> um, but I like like being being with technology. I like what I do now because I have a good mix of I'm going to drop a tree over here. Um, but I like the good mix of sitting at your desk and doing tasks and um, going out and physically have to, uh, to do them. I'm frustrated with 
how my company manages a lot of a lot of what they do, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Um That's interesting. It's still Easter, by the way. Um, so you guys have a reference of when I'm recording. It's just an interesting little poof of an island. It is, how far away am I? 13,000 and chunks, it's getting to be there. So let's make another bed. Uh, first, gotta make another workbench. And um, you'll hear me singing. Um, I got the. Um, well, I got it for my kids. <laughs> um. um the Mupp the new Muppets movie and I'm I'm a fanatic for Muppet stuff. Um it really makes me laugh. Oh well, I guess that's not gonna work. Oh no, I still want to have slept in that bed and leave it. I love the Muppets. I'm so happy they made another movie. I don't think you know how happy it makes me. <laughs> yeah, I'm strange, but I grew up with the Muppets and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and stuff like that. And you just don't see entertainment like that on TV anymore. And that's a shame. It looks like that's going to be a drive life planning. What the heck did I drop? Seeds, seeds. I have torches. And the ability to make more torches. Oh, I guess I'm good. Onward. So I just wanted to get a little recording in. Because, uh, well, this is normally the night I record, but I've been working on my paper most of the day, so. Uh, I'm ready to be done with this class. <laughs> but I should be done with everything in uh, the end of August, beginning of September. But, uh, if there's, you know, stuff you want to hear about, let me know. Um,. Like I said, my life's not been as interesting as Goods yet, but or uh, even but B Dubs, the little that we know from him. <laughs> I used to be able to sing. Yeah, especially when it's not, you know, 2 in the morning. But, you know. Still need to annotate what day it is. I keep track. I think this is, like, getting to be almost day 4. Also, use my new mic setup, which is um, <laughs> a USB mic I picked up at a thrift store, um, just so I could have a backup mic, just in case. But it's actually sitting in my shirt pocket with the mic pointing to my face because it's uh, one of the boom mics. But the boom mic isn't quite long enough to get right in front of me and get that good audio. So I kind of stuck it there. Seems to be working pretty good. 
And uh, I think I paid like four dollars for this mic at the local thrift store, which is incredible. Oh, oh, does it land? And drop a tree. I think that's two. I think this is going to be three blocks underneath me. Uno, dos, chase. No, four. I just hope to hit land sometime. Cut it off until I hit land. See you guys in a minute. Land ho! <laughs> I was beginning to wonder if I was going to have to live in one of these ravines. You can see a light popping up every now and again. Gosh, this isn't much to look at. Where am I? 15,000 blocks. I wonder if this is far enough. Yeah, I'm going to set up camp for here for a while. It's a nice, easy place to control. There's plenty of resources around here. Hopefully I can make a levitating boat again. Let's try and... do kind of like my survival island again. So let's make a workbench. Should have grabbed one of those other kind of tree. Uh, so stuff I don't quite want to carry with me everywhere. How about these we can just set. Yeah, so I'm really interested. Uh, somebody prank good. What they did is they basically built a furnace area. <laughs> I'm really curious of how they stack these on top of each other. I know if I like build a wall back here, I can do it. But I mean, he had these things three deep, and there's no way I could see to do that. Ten diamonds away. Put that away, put that away. <laughs> So, with that, I'm going to leave this island, and uh, or I'm going to start setting up stuff here. I hope to build an underwater village 
with the stuff that's got going on around here. Like I said, I think there's ravines under here. Yeah, like that over there. This looks like a volcano. And, uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys on the flip side.